kids, it's the Mr. Rogers of the art world. I'm in my studio here in Gainesville, Florida. We call it Galactic Glyph Studio. I'm just now coming from home and changing into my work outfit. I call it my aeronautical jumpsuit. It keeps me warm and keeps me from getting too dirty while I'm working with different materials. Right now, folks, before we get into the day, we always change into our work shoes, right? I just went to the gym, and I've got some cool Nikes that my sister bought me because she used to work for them until they laid her off. Now she's unemployed in Portland, Oregon, but they gave her a good severance pay, and she's doing pretty good. So I'm putting on my, uh, what do they call these things, uh, Crocs. Boy, these things are lightweight, durable, and uh, you could put them in a landfill for a thousand years and they'd still be there. So the reason I'm shooting this video today is not to be a total geek, but to show you what's happening with my latest piece, which we started working on last week. Uh, I've been in the middle of other things and I had to let this thing dry. So where it's at right now, I flipped it over. I'm going to have to grab this thing. Just bear with me for a moment. I'll pick it up here. You'll see that this side has been coated with Sculpto Mold, which is a very nice plaster and paper mache type of material. I put a couple coats on this thing. It gives it more contour and more defined shape. I'm still going to refine that even more. The funny thing is, I used old bags of this stuff. And when I say old, I think I've been packing it around for 10 to 15 years. <laughs> so uh, perhaps some of the bonding agent has declined in its ability to uh, solidify because uh, typically this stuff gets hard after 24 hours easily and it's been days now and it's slightly soft anyhow I'm going to continue with this piece I bought a new box that's a 50 pound box of uh, Amco art clay and uh, we're going to go ahead and apply it to this side we're going to take our little measuring cup it's actually one part water to two parts sculpto mold. Mix it in our little flexible buckets. You can always clean this out easily. I like these kind of rubbery buckets, you know. And even with a slurry or, you know, oatmeal thick mix, we can pat it on there nicely. It'll adhere to the uh, nails and then do a second coat to get more of our form and contour. So, and by the end, you know, we'll have a nice three-dimensional sculpture. So that's a little preview. Uh, welcome to my wonderland. Here comes the trolley. And what does Mr. Rogers say? Have a good day.